Hi, Kelly here at Oak Openings Preserve Metro Park today, and we are here to talk about wild blue lupin. Wild blue lupin is one of the signature species of the Oak Openings region, and is really an important plant, and it's really pretty too. So even though it's not flowering right now, I wanted to bring it to you to talk about it and show you. So let's go look at it right now. So here's a great example of our wild blue lupin right here. So I want to talk about how to ID it. So if you look at the leaves for a minute, this is what we call a palmate compound leaf. So when you think of palm, you can think of your hand like this here, and the compound meaning there's lots of different leaves. So it's pretty easy to ID because really nothing else looks like this. So once you see it, you're gonna know it and it's gonna stay with you. And it's not quite flowering yet, but it's getting ready to. So if you look right here, it's just beginning to send up its flower. And when it does flower, it's this gorgeous purple blue color, again, that's why it's called wild blue lupin. And butterflies love it. But kind of also an interesting point about this plant is that it's pretty unique in that it's the only host plant for the Carner Blue Butterfly. So the Carner Blue Butterfly is a federally endangered butterfly about the size of our thumbnail or a really small postage stamp. And the larvae exclusively eats wild blue lupins. So talk about being a picky eater. But once that larvae becomes a butterfly, it will of course nectar from the flower here, but so will other butterflies. So it's very beneficial to not only the Carner Blue, but many of our butterfly species here in the Oak Openings. And our lupin is found in open sandy areas. And it can be found in other metro parks too. So not only just here in Oak Openings Preserve, but it can be, can be found in Wildwood, it can be found in Secor, because those are parks that are in the Oak Openings region. Um, and it's actually in the pea family. So um, the flower kind of resembles um, that pea flower, if you will. And then once it goes to seed, the seed pods look like little peas. So when they begin, they're green and they're fuzzy. And as they begin to mature, they start to turn black and they begin to twist. And once they start to twist, that's how they disperse their seeds. They twist and they kind of go flying. So that's how the, the seeds get dispersed and how the plant spreads. But um, isn't around too long. So again, it flowers in May and June and I want you to get out and experience it while you can because it's not around very long. So the next time you're maybe at Oak Openings or Wildwood at Secor, you're in an open, sandy, sunny area, take a look out for our Wild Blue Lupin. Hope you enjoy.